Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of bones of the pectoral girdle. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The pectoral girdle consists of two bones that are the clavicle and the scapula. For this video, we will focus on the clavicle. So let's begin with the general information about the clavicle. The clavicle is a long bone. It extends between the manubrium of the sternum and the acromion of the scapula. Let's have a look. As you can see, these bones shaded in the yellow are the clavicles. This is the manubrium of the sternum. And this is the acromion of the scapula. This is the clavicle that extends from the manubrium to the acromion. Clavicle has three parts. Sternal end, acromial end, and the shaft. We will discuss each of these separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. Starting with the sternal end. The sternal end is quadrangular and has a sternal facet that articulates with the clavicular notch of the manubrium to form the sternoclavicular joint. Let's have a look. This is the superior view of the bone. And as you can see, this quadrangular part is the sternal end. This is the sternal facet which articulates with the manubrium. This is how the sternal end articulates with the manubrium sterni to form the sternoclavicular joint. Coming to the second part of clavicle, that is the acromial end. The acromial end is flattened from above downwards and it has an acromial facet that articulates with the acromion process of the scapula to form the acromioclavicular joint. Let's have a look. This again is the superior view of the bone. This flat part which you can see is the acromial end. And this is the acromial facet. Now let's look how it articulates. So this is the clavicle. And this is the acromion of scapula. And here is the acromioclavicular ligament that helps to form the acromioclavicular joint. Coming to the last part of clavicle, that is the shaft. It is the cylindrical part of the clavicle which can be further divided into two parts, the lateral one-third and the medial two-thirds. The lateral one-third of the shaft is concave forwards. On the inferior surface, there is an elevation called as the conoid tubercle and a ridge called as the trapezoid line. Both of these give attachment to the coarcoclavicular ligament. The medial two-thirds are convex forwards. Let's have a look. As you can see, we have divided the clavicle into two parts, the lateral one-third and the medial two-thirds. And this lateral part is concave, whereas the medial part is convex. To see other features, we need to look at the inferior view. So this yellow tracing is the trapezoid line. And this prominence is the conoid tubercle. These are the trapezoid and conoid ligaments, which are parts of the coarcoclavicular ligament. So that is it for this video guys. In the next video, we will discuss about the anatomy of scapula. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.